surfing in your face next. From the North Shore of Oahu, the center of the surfing universe, this is H3O, Hawaiian Heavy Water TV. This is for me, who ride mountains. And this is for the men of the sea. The surfers rush is all they need just to set the spirits free. These men, who ride mountains. And now, it's time to get totally stoked with your hosts, pro surfers Mark Fu and Mike Latronic. Aloha. Welcome to our first episode of the new season of H3O Heavy Water Magazine. And as usual, we've got the hottest surfing, bodyboarding, and snowboarding action on the planet. On the whole entire earth. This episode, we've got the ultimate original surf legend, Duke, Duke Kanemoku. We've got today's living legend, Kelly Slater, the hottest, most popular surfer in the world. And a lot of our regular segments, such as, Mike, well, that's including, but not limited to, Flips, Crip, Clips, the move of the week, which in this case is more like the move of the decade. We've got tube time, and uh, we're going to learn how to check the surf also. And also we've got hot spots. There's our favorite hot spot back to our pipeline going off right now. Let's go check it out. Going on. Going on. That's a hot spot. And back real. doors, like a lot of other spots on the North Shore, where you get, it only breaks when the conditions are just right. And you know, predicting when that happens, it's it's kind of getting to be like a science these days. It's a total science. It's a total ritual. It's a total obsession. But actually, there is only one way to really check the surf, and that is to go and check the surf. So what we did is we went down to Alamona Shopping Center. We asked all kind of people how they check the surf. And down there, you can always tell who's the surfers and who's the posers. Hey. I call. Surf in Hawaii? What's the surf? Yeah, I surf in London. Bring out one of my friends and ask him what the surf's like, or... I don't know, just have a look at the weather. Uh, konnichiwa. <laughs> As we were saying earlier, there is scientific method to this madness. And to explain that scientific method, is Dr. Ricky Grigg, professor of oceanography from the University of Hawaii, and one of our personal surf heroes. The first thing you need to know is surf is caused by what? Not earthquakes, but storms. Yeah, winds and storms are what uh, generate surf. There's three main factors. There's the wind speed. There's how long the wind blows. How many hours? That's called duration. And the third thing is called fetch. Fetch is the distance over which the wind is blowing in the storm, not the distance to Hawaii. That's something else. If you know wind speed, duration, and fetch, you can calculate the size of the surf. Now, to calculate how big those waves are after they reach a foreign destination, that depends on how far they go. And that is called decay. So if it's one day decay, they'll drop about, oh, maybe one third. So to calculate the surf at any given point, like Hawaii, you have to know, first of all, if there's a storm there, what the wind speed is, how long it's been blowing, the fetch, or how far the wind is blowing, and then decay the waves into Hawaii. If you know all that, you can be a guru and predict the surf. That's all. 